Hey, Stephen. Hey, everybody. How you doing? We are back. Thank God. So that's a good thing. Thank you for sticking around. And so not sure what happened, but, you know, things happened. <laughs> I'm just going to let everyone know that the uh, new live stream, what the new live stream is. So hopefully we'll get people back. So, okay, back to the drawing board. Let's make this happen. It'll just be a few moments. And let's see if we're back live. Let me see. Okay, we are back. So that is good. Let me... We have the right camera. Let me go back onto my iPad. There we go. Okay. So now we're just going to continue. Let me get my mall stick and we will be in business. So we got Steve and Jesus, and that's great. And Nameless are back. Okay, so let's just continue on with her hair. I'll put this over here so I can see you better. I'm always looking to the right so I can see what you're saying. Good to see you, Blue. And I'm just going to tilt this just down a tiny bit so you can see most of it. Now, I won't be able to do too much zooming in this one because of the different setup. Maybe I'll work out the pastel setup a little bit better in the next video. So once I have that down, then I'm just going to take one of these packing peanuts and I'm just going to blend that out. See that? See how I still see what I have underneath there. However, now it's more muted and now when I work on that hair, it's going to be much softer, which is good. Oh yeah, the Christmas lights are cool. They're really nice at night. There we go. Flip that a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Okay, so we do have this over here, which is very soft. And I want to soften this up. Don't want it so hard edged. Thanks, Jesus. I appreciate that very much, sir. And it looks like we have some hair coming down here, like so. Okay, so now we're going to come in with sort of a orangey kind of terracotta type color. Uh, right about here. Let's see what this does. Actually, this one looks a little bit better. 
Now the set I'm using are the Pit Pastel by Faber Castell. They're really good. They're really great. We're going to work on this eye a little bit. And let's see, we have like, it's like a little bit of a ruddy color, but it has a lot of yellow ochre in it. And let's see what we can do with this. Move this over here. And then we'll come back with with some more packing peanuts. And we'll just we'll see how this blends. And come back in with that terracotta color right over here. Calm this color down right here. It's a little, a little strong, so we're just going to calm it down. Just like so. Hey Patty, great to see you. Oh, the weather is bad. Please take it easy, okay? It's good to see you, Patty. that's that's a good thing there we go maybe lower it just a little bit more there we go Okay, now there's this lighter kind of yellowy orange color here. So I'm going to look for that real quick. It's kind of like a light yellow ochre. A lot of times you'll have to mix several pastels over each other to get the desired value you want. When working in pastel pencils, it's a little more difficult than if I was working in just regular pastels like I've been doing my whole life. But this is more to show everyone, you know, the technique and, you know, it's easy to teach 
the pastel pencils because someone could buy the pastel pencils for a relatively inexpensive price compared. So this is a, uh, this color, it doesn't have a name, but the number is 1122183. And so if you're following along and you have you have these pastels it's going to be a lot more easy for you to follow along if I do it in pastel pencils which is good uh, basically pastel pencils aren't shiny they're matte so you really because it's really a matte surface. It's just basically pastel pigment compressed in here. So it's not shiny at all. So that's a good thing. What would be shiny is your, your colored pencils. Those are the ones that are shiny. Uh, that's the big difference between pastel. Plus pastel pens, pastel pencils are compressed pastel. Colored pencils are basically wax. And the pigment is much better in the in pastel than colored pencils. I'm going to come back with this. Um, this color is called. It uh, looks like ochre dark, so yellow ochre dark. And I'm just going to dust this over. I do a lot of dusting over when I'm working in pastel pencils. You'll see I dust a lot. And dust is sort of like glazing a color. So like if you're doing an airbrush and you just kind of spray from far away just to make it a little bit darker or make it a little more red, that's exactly what I'm doing here. So you see that's really very yellow. So now I have to come and uh, kind of bring that back so I'm going to get that kind of terracotta type color actually this one is the 1122-186 kind of bring this in here Oh, very, very welcome, Jesus, definitely. So, Jesus, where's my friend Sergio today? I thought I'd give him a shout out. That really good kid. Sergio, you are you are amazing, sir. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of dust over a little bit with this color right here, which is 1122-105. It's like a light yellow. And I'm just going to it's just gonna kind of calm it down a little bit and assimilate it. And you'll see when I go ahead and blend it what it does. The most important thing is the one second roll. Same thing as we do when we work in, uh, oh, so cool, so cool. So basically with the one second rule, we're just making sure we keep everything in front of us, pay attention to what's happening. do a little strategic blending. Now 
Now you see, when you start to get it to the point where the surface is covered with pastel, it's like working with wet oil paint. It really is. So you airbrush guys out there, I definitely recommend you try doing pastel over your airbrush. You are an airbrush underpainting or good size. You are not going to be sorry, trust me. It's about time the airbrush world started marrying the two, the two mediums here. I've been doing it for the longest time. Now, Jesus says our 72 color pack pastels, is, is there a bigger pack? I believe there is a bigger pack. They're harder to find, but I think the 72 pack should be good right now for you. Marshall, how's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you, Colette. And let these uh, packing pe peanuts are free, so don't worry about Don't worry about it. Forget about it. They're free, so use them. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do some hair, right? Let's, let's get some hair uh, going. So, let's see. So, it's sort of like this really bright orangey color in her hair, which I love. I love everything about Katya. She's great. Very talented. Talented, talented classical penis. The color I'm using is 1122-186. I'm just going to very quickly kind of lock in some of the hair here. Remember, first we paint the helmet and then we paint the, the individual hairs, right? Remember that? That's looking. We're going to back this up just a tad so we see more. And let's see how that looks. And let's raise it up just a tad so we see more of her hair. Okay, because we're going to be working on her hair right now. edge you have this kind of glow around her hair we're going to put that in and I believe we have it on this side too
Marshall said, just finished his first class this morning. Get ready to start the second one this morning. Oh, cool. What class is that? Hey, Willie, how you doing? Good to see you. So good to see you, Mr. Willie. So glad you can make it. And of course, let's soften up the edges here. Just be one moment. Let's see. Great. So I got the I have the picture in my iPad, so I'm working on that. A little different, my computer over there is, I didn't have time to set that up, so I'm working off of my iPad. Oh, cool, very cool. Uh, Jesus says, uh, Tim, when you do the face, I see you are overlapping the hair also. Is that your blending at the same time? Yeah, definitely. I'm a little more, we're, we can be so free with pastels. We can, we can overlap, we can come, come over it. There's so much we can do. It really is quite liberating. So uh, when you work in pastels, you'll definitely you'll definitely feel it. You know, airbrush is great, but airbrush does limit you with what you can do. This will open the doors, especially with an India, uh, India ink underpainting, because you can't go and do an underpainting as well as India ink. India ink is great because it, it actually hides the pencil lines. And, uh, Actually, it doesn't hide the pencil lines, but you can erase the pencil lines after you put India ink on it. But you can't do that with uh, regular Createx. You can do it somewhat with the uh, Drew Blair's uh, illustration colors, but not any other of the uh, not any of the other uh, paints like Wicked or anything like that. They just don't have enough. They don't have the ability to uh, erase the pencil lines once they're trapped underneath. Ah, cool. So Marshall's picking up his colored pencils. Very cool. But this is pastel pencils, though. It's uh, same principle, but a totally different medium. I would love for you, Marshall, to try pastel pencils. And now I'm going to be doing this every week. I think you're going to find it really amazing. I'm going to stay a little bit after 9 o'clock because we had that little hiccup. 
so that's cool. Hey Omas, how are you today? Good to see you. And I am overlapping a lot to uh, Jesus to get soft edges. And it might be a little too harsh, so this is a good way just to calm that down. And then we can come back and soften some, some areas. Like here, we can bring the shadow down. Okay, so now we're going to come in with some black and we're going to pull out some of these really super rich darks here. And I'll just, I'm getting a little bit of a shadow here. So let's, let's come in with some dark and you'll see how the black really enriches some of these darks really nicely. Oh, cool, Willie. Definitely get yourself the set of 72 or 60 of the pit pastels. You'll really love them. And then because I promised to uh, do these every week so you, you all could follow along. And combine your... I mean, that's really great. You can combine your pastels and your airbrush together and that's my goal And just look how cool. I mean, it's hair, so I don't have to go too crazy with it or anything like that. It's still the early going, but it's nice that with pastel, I'm able to come in here and really get a sense of what's happening. How are you? Lisa, good to see you. Oh, thank you. Colette says that my painting's looking great. I appreciate that so much. <laughs> Willie says... Like he needs an excuse for buying art stuff. That's funny. None of us need an excuse, right? We'll find an excuse. Okay, so. Let me see if I could make this just a tad bit lighter. Let's see how this goes. There, just a little bit lighter. Okay, so now I'm going to, let's work on her lips a little bit. I think that's always fun to do. So I'm going to take this color here, which is 1122-186. And <laughs> Jesus says, his wife says, what did you get this, this time? That's funny. Just 
gonna pull this over. And then over here, keep that one second rule going, everybody. So important. go and so now I'm looking at that and it's kind of like a ruddy color right I'm going to add that into that and this one is by credit color and this color is called Bister and what I'm going to do is uh, first I'm actually going to sharpen it so forgive my obstruction I'm just going to Come over here and sharpen my pencil. So, one moment, my friends. like my pencil is pencil sharpener just malfunction see look at this what so let's see we'll get another color and we'll come over here let's see. and I'm just gonna start coming here thanks Colette I appreciate that And what I'm doing, great thing with colored pencils that you can draw and paint at the same time. So isn't that cool? Let's see if I can do this for you guys. Bam! There we go. Pull this up. Okay. Not bad, not bad at all. Let me work on the focus here. Cool. All right. So let's make this happen. Yes, definitely blame me for making you buy all that art supply stuff. See how you can actually see how that looks. There we go.
Great, and now we can actually come in with a darker uh, kind of yellow ochre kind of color. It's going to be a little darker. Let's see, it takes, a, it takes me a few moments to find it. Yeah. Let's see if we can do it with this here. This is actually, oh, there it is. I think if I look at this one, it's a little bit darker. This one is 1122-176. Uh, it's a little bit darker, so we could get uh, a little more dimension. And work on the large shapes first. Don't get caught up in the small shapes, okay? Oh, Colette says that Jesus should get his wife pastels. That's funny. She'll start painting in pastels. Then she'll t then she'll be using your airbrushes. And I just need to get my kneaded eraser. Now, when you're using the kneaded eraser instead of the, um, if you're using the kneaded eraser instead of, you know, working, uh, working in either airbrush or pencil and pastel, you want to keep this separate. It has to be dedicated because if I take this, use it in pastels, then go use it on my airbrush painting, it's going to be a disaster. So make sure you keep that separate, okay? What you can do, <laughs> well, the good thing about kneaded erasers, uh, you can just peel off a piece. So what you're already using for your airbrush, just, just take off a little tiny piece like this and just dedicate it just for your uh, pastel, <laughs> you know, so you don't have to buy more. Uh, not right away, but, you know, not if you're painting in bulk, you'll be using your kneaded eraser more. So this color right here is 112188. It's more of a reddish color. And I'm just gonna, going to start, put this in here. A little more of a red color here. And let's go ahead and use our packing peanuts. And of course, we take the packing peanuts, we make a point out of it, and now we can start blending. I'm just going to start blending in the lighter color first, softening that up. Now what I will do is I'll show you something new, is that I take one 16th inch foam core, and what I do is I peel off the paper part, and then I cut it in little triangles. And when I do that, I could use this as a teeny tiny blending stump when I'm going into tight, tight detail. I have one corner I'm using for the lighter color, the other corner for the darker color. Just like when I work in airbrush, is the same as I work in pastel. I don't 
I don't worry about mixing the exact color. I arrive at the color. And that's what you want to do. You want to arrive at the color. You know, you're not sign painters. You don't have to mix it perfectly. You just want to do lots of layers, right? And so you have time to get there. You work on value first, and then you work on the large shapes, and then before you know it, the color kind of shows itself. Coming back in with 177 to get this dark over here. And let's zoom out, shall we? There we go. Maybe I'll just bring this over a little closer. There. I think that's focused. Okay, great. And let's go back to our packing peanuts and we will blend this in here. And if ever you accidentally, you know, get a value that's dark on accident, you just tap it with the needed eraser. You don't want to be blending that in because you do that enough and you're just going to make mud. So you don't want to make mud, right? One side is the light, the other side is the dark. When we come back, I'm going to show you uh, in the next, what time is it now? 9.05, I'll do another 10 minutes. But when we come back next week, what I want to do is I'm going to come back in with airbrush to show you how I could do an airbrush underpainting, paint and pastel, go back over with airbrush, and then paint over it again, which is really cool. And Willie says, how long would the pencils last? Case in point, these pencils are about 20, they're 20 years old, these, pen, these pastel pencils. So yeah, they last forever. Uh, you know, over time, if I ever ran out, I would buy it. Like, I buy a lot of the grays and the blacks and the whites and that. But a lot of these colors you don't use. Now, this is the first time I'm actually using pastel pencils as the main. Uh, I usually just work in regular pastels. But I realized by doing uh, videos, doing my regular technique, it would cost you at least three, four hundred dollars just to get started to follow, follow along. So pastel pencils is much better for you guys. So really with a hundred dollar investment, you're ready to go. So that's what's good about, you know, doing this technique, you know. Uh, so yeah, they last forever. Pastels don't go bad. Uh, they never go bad. Yeah, 20 years. Um, I have pastels since, you know, art school back in the 80s. So pastels don't go bad. So that's another reason why pastels are so much better than every other medium. Uh, I am a signature member of the Pastel Society of America. That's an elected member. So you have to, you have to be an X number amount of uh, exhibitions and awards, and then you're able to go ahead and uh, apply. And I think it's like your whole portfolio, like six or seven paintings, and the board will review it, and then you get elected to the Pastel Society of America. So it's an honor. It's great. 
So I've been doing pastels forever. A lot longer than anything else I've been doing. Well, I've been breathing longer, that's for sure. And let's zoom out. We're going to work on her body. Let's see how this goes. And if I just lower her. There we go. I think that's good. And let's move her a little closer. And I'm just going to put it in autofocus for a sec. There we go. And let me just come down just a tiny bit. There we go. And we'll take the autofocus off. <laughs> so, uh, Nameless says uh, he was assuming that I was using and, and sh uh, sh sharpening them every day, like sharpening pieces five to six times for us. Yeah, you know, get a good pencil sharpener. That really makes makes a big difference. So, definitely. So now we're going to work a little bit on her shirt. Now, I mean her shirt, her, her body here. So, with the, the fall off of light, because the even from here to here, it's much darker. Right here, it's darker. So I'm going to bring down this light a little bit. So now you can see. Someone takes my class, they're going to learn about light. That's, you know, you, that's the great thing about taking my, uh, my class is that you learn about light, which is really important. And so I'm going to come in with this light yellow color. And we're just going to bring this down. Well, some people do. They cut it with a razor blade, and then the rest of the part they go ahead and sand it down. That works well. As that works well too. Again, we want that really kind of warm terracotta color. We have to make this clavicle turn right. So again, I went a little too dark, so I just come there. But you can see how quick you can move and, and paint with pastel. It's a lot faster than every other medium, trust me. With pastel, you know, like I said, I've done oils, I've done pastel, watercolor, pencil, color pencil, pastel pencil, working and regular pastels, and working in it, it really is the most fluent, fluent of all the techniques. And I love it. I, I do love working in it. Right here it's a little darker because the light is coming from the upper right. And so here you have the sternocleidomastoid and that's sort of obstructing the view. And over here you're just getting more reflected light. So we're going to come in with this color, which is 1122-180, and let's go back with our 
mostre And we're going to decide what to do with the background next week. with that terracotta orangey color here. <laughs> Willie says airbrush to pencil. So now we're going to come in with this uh, kind of bring it together. Remember that this color right here, which is 1122-105. And let's dust over this so it's not so harsh. Now you see that, you know, since I went ahead and put that little bit of white in there, it really calmed down the color, which is nice. super careful, right? We're painting, we're, we're having fun. We could have unlimited layers here, so it's not like we have to get it right the first time. So my whole thing is arriving at the color, right? That's what you want to do. You want to arrive at the color. I'm not worried about it being perfect. You can have one color go into another, no biggie, right? We have plenty of these packing peanuts.
Oh yeah, Jesus has these great uh, mechanical pencils, which are fantastic, which are different from pastel pencils, of course. And then right here, let's go ahead and clean up those lips a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on the far shoulder here, right? So right here, I'm just going to lift this up here. This over here. Okay, so first we want to go ahead and come in with that RNG terracotta type color that we've been working on all day. And this one is 1122186. And let's make this happen. There we go. Nice who says blending with peanuts need jelly. That's hilarious. You guys are hilarious, you and uh, Willie. Peanut butter and jelly art. That would be interesting. Soften up this area right here. It's a little harsh. Very light pressure over here. And we're going to come in with that yellow ochre color. And this one is 1122180. We'll just bring this in here just to darken this up. See, in pastel, you can do many, many layers. And you can erase, you can go over. There's so much freedom that you have in pastel pencils when you work over a underpainting in India ink and the airbrush. It's like the best of both worlds. And then next week when I show you how we can go over this with India ink, you'll really, you'll really be uh, fascinated. I used to eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches just like six months ago, actually like a year ago. And I was eating a lot of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches like as a snack and I realized they're like 400 calories for each one. So I don't touch them anymore. That was unbelievable. Okay, so let's, uh, Let's push back here, and then we'll just close up what we did today, which was pretty cool. So let me zoom back and see what that looks like. Actually, yeah, what I can do is I'll do something interesting is, no, we'll just leave it at that. Let's just leave it as it is. And we'll just see what kind of, see how she's looking. 
There we go. And we'll get her focused. And that's basically her right now. We'll move back just a little bit further so we can see the whole painting. And let's push it over here. There we go. Now you can really see how how she's looking. And you see, like, we're really starting to get a lot of depth and everything, which is really fantastic, and I love it. And we just started, I mean, I'm just like an hour or so into this, so really not that much, maybe an hour last week. So you can see you really can go really far with this technique. It's a lot faster than airbrushing. Uh, airbrushing alone, but you still have the really beautiful hard edges that you get when you are working with the airbrush. So, really very exciting. Okay, so let's see. Let me go back and go back to the live stream and the comments. Thanks, Willie. I appreciate that. And... Um, so that's cool, everyone. Thank you so much for the pat being at the pastel live stream. I really appreciate it. We're getting, um, I'm getting some of the bugs out on how actually I'm going to do it. Am I going to do at the easel? Am I going to be working here? But I really want to be working on the easel because I like working with pastel uh, on the easel as opposed to the way I work in airbrush, which is vertical and thank you so much there mr steve i appreciate it willie and everybody thanks for hanging out colette nameless subscriber uh hey uh jesus and thank you so much sergio it was great to see you patty was here and marshall and uh we had john maldives was here uh so good to see you and Patty, let me see, anyone else I miss? If I missed you, I'm oh, Blue was here, which was really cool. And great. So thank you for coming by. Have a great uh, rest of your weekend. If you have any questions, always feel free to shoot me an email. And um, I really appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me uh, on a Saturday evening. Bye, guys.